Every moment 
Hi, I'm Jennifer. And I'm Joseph. And we have been together now for the last 10 years. When I came to the church, I was not single. I just had a broken relationship. And I didn't want to, to think about that when I came to the church. I, was, um, I wasn't married at the time. And then it was, when I was in the church, I got married. Um, my marriage didn't work out. Um, I got divorced. And then when I got divorced, um, to me, I wasn't really looking for love again. I said to myself that I'm just gonna focus on you know, my relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ and um, just take it from there. I remember I was talking to one of the pastors and he's saying to me, no, I should continue to, you know, God's got somebody out there for me. So I said, okay then. Then that's when I started to go to Finsbury Park. And then when I started to go to Finsbury Park, then they had something at our church, which was called um, Jacob's Well. And then I started to attend um, Jacob's Well. And that's where I met Jennifer. So while coming to the meetings, um, one of the pastors spoke to me and said, well, um, Jennifer, you know that your spiritual life is growing. You know, um, what about your love life? So I said, Pastor, no, I'm not interested in the love life at the moment. So he said, no, come on to the seminars and see what it's like and then make a decision. So I, you know, I started going, it was very interesting because I get to learn more about myself and the changes that I need to make to have a good relationship. Um, I remember seeing Jennifer and I did, I did like her, she, she was all right. And um, when I saw she came up on the altar and I saw she walk straight to me and then she held my hands, I said, this is the, the right woman for me. I believe that the Lord Jesus um, picked her. We started to come to the, the Jacob's well. We started to listen to what the pastor was saying and we started to put those things into practice. And I remember that um, in that event, also doing the, doing the Jacob well, that's where I proposed to her and that's where um, we moved it one step further and then we got married. For me, my life changed drastically because um, I had to, to learn how to change, but it was all positive change. And looking back, it's like if I know him 20 years, because we, we click so much things that we have in common, so much things that we, you know, we do together, and it's, we just keep moving. It's that I'm, I trust him because before my relationship, I didn't have no trust. It was very, you know, it wasn't nice, it wasn't a nice relationship, but now I trust him, I can go anywhere. And the, the most important thing is a man of God. And that was one of that ticked my box because I didn't want to have anyone from the world. I wanted somebody already prepared by God. So if there's someone who doesn't want to attend the event, I would advise them to attend because you never know, especially if you're single and you're looking for someone, a man of God, you, the possibility is that you will find someone there. And if not, you would learn something for yourself that would change your life. I say to the men, if a woman does approach you, this is a very, very good environment for that woman to approach you. And I will say that if a woman does approach you in, in this environment, I'm saying that, you know, you will be where I am on cloud nine. And I tell you, you will never look back. So I will encourage all the men, you know, come to this um, event. You know, they won't regret it at all. You're my creator, Lord, do you know my times. Seasons of breakthrough, my seasons of trials. So I will seek you, in you I will find. You are my strong tower, in you I will hide. Seasons of trials. 
relationship that was really abusive. He would be physically, verbally, emotionally abusive. Um, he would be um, really controlling. He would always think that um, I'm cheating on him. He would always be accusing me of being certain places or being with certain people when I wasn't. Every week we would be arguing or we would be breaking up. On, especially when the weekends came, Fridays or Saturdays, we would end up going out, drinking, smoking, and even sometimes doing drugs. This made him even more violent. He turned into someone else that I didn't recognize, and I would be trapped in his room where it was just me and him, and he would just go crazy. At the time, I felt trapped and I knew what I was in or what I was going through wasn't right. But at the same time, I was, I didn't want to leave because I didn't want to be lonely. I didn't want to be left without someone to go to or to speak to. I knew I didn't deserve what I was going through, but it was the fear of being by myself or the fear of not having someone with me. I was invited to the help centre and through the help centre I realised my value as a woman and how I should be treated and especially through this one group called Rahab. It's a woman's group that deals with women that's been abused and that's been through relationship problems. Through this group, I was healed and transformed and was found the strength to move on, to realize what I was holding inside of me, what I needed to change about myself so that I can realize my value. Charlotte today is stronger, um, I'm free. I have hope for the future, for my future relationship that I will have. I've also taken part in other events, for example, the love school that we had last year, and I learned a lot, and I took this on board and placed it into my life, and it works. It's transformed me and has prepared me for my future relationship. Trust in you, 
Father Oh, how I trust in your power Father You honor those who use their faith In those who believe in you Father Many have you failed along the way Father Many have you given up their faith Father But I will not be the same Father I will fight till the end I will never doubt my God The door that He opens can't be closed I would be crazy to doubt My God never failed or let me down I will never doubt my God The door that He opens can't be closed I would be crazy to doubt My God never failed nor let me down 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 Father have you failed along the way, Father? Many have you given up their faith, Father? But I will not be the same, Father. I will fight till the end. door that he opens can't be closed I would be crazy to doubt my God never failed or let me down I will never doubt my God door that he opens can't be closed I would be crazy to doubt my God never failed nor let me down my God never failed nor let me down my God never failed nor let me down my God never failed nor let me down.